Hey Film Camp, looks like we're back at it and I'm gonna teach you all about storyboarding. Storyboarding is the art of planning out all of your shots before you start rolling the cameras. Also called pre-visualization, storyboarding is one of the most essential tools a filmmaker has to save lots of time and money once they get onto their film set. Storyboarding and cinematography go hand in hand as filmmakers figure out how to tell their story visually using the language of film. Meaning, should this chunk of action and dialogue be shot in wides, mediums, close-ups, high angle, low angle, all of the above, and why? In this video, we will go over types of shots, film language, and how to create a storyboard using Celtex for free. There are all kinds of shots that we could go over, but today let's stick to the basics. The master is meant to catch all the action of all the characters in the space and setting. Usually it's a good way to start and establish a scene. There's very little emotional tension related to a wide shot, but it helps tell the bigger picture. Pun intended. A medium shot is useful as characters get into conversation. It helps us to see more of the actor's expressions and helps the audience to feel like they're in on the conversation too. This is important because we need our audiences to feel invested in the character's story and journey. The close-up should be saved for important emotional changes in the character because it helps emphasize those important feelings that are key to telling your story and following the character's journey. A high angle shot is often used when your character is in danger or in a position of feeling weak because it's as if the camera or the audience is looking down on them. And in contrast, the low angle shot makes a character seem very powerful because it positions the audience to look up at them as if the audience is inferior. Very common with villains. Now let's head over to Celtex.com. For information on creating a Celtex account, just head over to the screenwriting on Celtex video. For now, let's get inside. As we went over in the other video, you'll just click into your project. You'll see your three options again, but this time we're clicking on storyboard. To begin, you'll select add new shots. When you're deciding on what type of shot you'd like to make, use this drop down menu where you'll see a bunch of different shots that we did and didn't cover. There's also a section for writing a description of the scene and or lines of dialogue that correspond with the shot. Next, if we click on edit scene blocker, we can design our storyboard. Celtex has a number of pre-designed characters for you to use while you're designing your shots. But for now, I'm just gonna use a regular old gal as you can see, it's a pretty easy click, drag and drop sort of process where we can pick the size and the angles of each person or object that we're dragging onto the board. In the upper left corner, you'll see that you have some options to add some text or notes to your board in case that's helpful to you. Once you're happy with your first shot, you can go back to the main board and create a new shot. In this shot, I'm creating a medium over the shoulder shot as if the girls were about to talk. And you can see that Celtex is giving me the option for characters to face forward, sideways, or backwards, which is really helpful when creating these kinds of shots. And underneath this shot, I'm just identifying the line of dialogue that goes with it. And of course, if we have one medium over the shoulder, we have to get the reverse on the other character. And I think I'll just put a bookcase behind her. Reverse over the shoulder. And skipping ahead, you'll see that I decided to design two more extreme close-ups, one on the eyes for emotional impact, and one on the hands, just in case there was some secret movement going on there, like perhaps one of the characters crosses their fingers, and the audience needs to see that. In any case, this is a wrap on your storyboard tutorial. 